And just like, it was really cool. I really had this like admiration, right? It was just like, whoa, like I really am inspired by you. I'm really admiring you versus like you mentioned, like a previous version of yourself, me too, might've been like more intimidated or like, you know, comparison where it was really much, uh, really not like that. And, um, for those that don't know, NABA stands for the natural art of being alive. And one of the things that, um, Lindsay and I wanted, you know, like the theme of what we wanted to talk about today is, you know, showing up through the mess, showing up through life. We both are very, um, yeah, we share a lot on social media. We run, um, you know, our businesses online and we're human and shit happens and things get hard, things get really wonderful. Um, and things can also be really messy. And I don't know how you feel, Lindsay, but I just made like, sometimes people ask me, they're like, how, you know, cause I've been really consistent sharing my story and my journey at first it was fitness. And then of course it's transitioned. But since I was 17 and I'm 34 now, so for 17 years, I've been showing up pretty consistently online sharing, you know, bringing the joy, just getting people to move, um, first their bodies and now their minds and their hearts and things like that. And sometimes people will ask me, they'll be like, you know, how do you do you like run out of ideas? Like, how do you keep, you know, showing up and doing that? And I'm like, I can't not like, no matter what, like, I can't not like, it would make me physically ill to think like, Oh, I'm just not going to share inspiration daily on social media. I'm and not even on social media, but out in the real world too. Like I can't not bring the joy even when it's challenging. Of course, you know, it's not like oh, do, 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 everything's perfect, but it's like I cannot not bring that authentic joy. I cannot not share the the journey and the struggles and the triumphs. I just can't not. Like my body just won't let me. Do you feel that way too? Yeah. So <clears throat> that's resonating really deeply. And a lot of people ask me about this because I am kind of, I, I don't know, in some circles I've been dubbed like the, the personal brand queen. And I like to say that I actually started a personal brand before I even really knew what that was or what I was doing. And then, so basically I started a brand on accident and then I kind of monetized a brand on accident, which was you know, like a really interesting part of my journey because I thought, oh, I'm, I'm doing something that I could maybe keep doing and like, maybe I'm good at it. Right. And now I've basically molded my entire life and my career around teaching women how to monetize personal brands. And so this is actually very relevant to what I get asked as a mentor all the time, because I think a lot of people really maybe don't understand the concept of showing up online in a way that is also really authentic to staying human first. And so one of the things that I always say is to stay human first. That is so massively important. So I think, and, and I don't want to speak for London, but I think she probably resonates with this when I say that, like, I don't force showing up online. I don't force sharing something before I'm ready to share it. Now, that also comes along with deciding that I show up every single day, that I actually am so compelled by my vision and my why to show up. Like part of my why, part of why I'm here on this planet is to show up for others in service in a way that lights me up. And there really is a difference between those two things. So for example, over the last month, I've been going through a separation from my incredible, amazing, now ex-partner of six and a half years. And that journey has been like really, really wild for me for the last month. And for the last 29 days, I haven't been ready to share that journey publicly. But within that, I have shown up every single day with little bits and pieces where I don't actually have to like put my heart on blast, but I can give the value, right? I can show up and say, ooh, this happened to me today, or this is what I'm learning, or sharing something that I think somebody else might take a piece of wisdom from. But that doesn't mean that for the last 29 days, I had to put my, my broken heart on blast until it became relevant for me to share that because it felt authentic and it felt time. 
So I do, I get asked a lot by women like, oh man, if I, you know, build this business online or, or have a brand or, you know, show up as a podcast host or a coach or whatever, do I really have to put my whole life online? And I'm like, no, people know probably 2% of my life, right? But what I have learned is the skill of being able to bring what I've learned to the table in a way that feels authentic wearing my heart on my sleeve and sharing who I am while also understanding that I can keep certain parts of myself private. And there's certain parts of my life that will literally never go on the internet. And to add to that, here's something else that I believe nobody wants to see at all. Like that's no one wants to see my whole life. No, it, like we think in the personal branding space that it means that you just show up all the time. And it's like, no one wants to see that boring shit. 90% of my life is like me just doing the same routine or me. Nobody wants to see me run every single day. I don't post about running every day because nobody wants to see that. Right. And so I think like, we don't have to put our whole lives on blast because a that's boring as fuck and B stay human first. while also really pulling out the nuggets that other people can glean their own wisdom from, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I remember um, just in my, in just be from being on social media a lot. I think that I at least can, and maybe you can and listeners too, like there's some people that just share like the whole enchilada. And I always told myself like, you don't got to share the whole enchilada. Like once I feel like I'm in a, a state and in a heart posture that can provide value from the hurt, from the frustration, from the humanness, all of that. That's what I like to share. I think that, you know, of course I reserve that for like the people close to me or when I'm alone or like my best friends, like they get to see the, you know, the ugly cry and the messy and the, you know, the deep depth of what I'm going through. And I think there's value in keeping that private too. And then when I'm ready to be like, okay, you know, now I'm ready to share. Here's a little bit of wisdom. Yeah, it's still raw. It's still fresh. I'm not like, you know, robotic. Now I'm over. It's like, it's still part of it, but I feel like I can actually provide value and I can actually give um, something that people can digest and take because I don't want to like emotionally unpack on the internet. Cause that just doesn't feel good for me either. It's like, I want to keep a piece of me too. And I, there, you know, I have close friends and people to me that I know I can go to for that. And 